Our changes tonight. Did you guys get your groove back after this, or is it still a work in progress? Um, I would say like a little bit in between. Um, just the way we came out today, we was dialed in on both ends of the floor. Um, and I think today we got, you know, kind of our groove back a little bit in terms of just our de defensive mindset. Um, he was in the gaps, he was talking, getting through screens, and helps I was there. So I think, these, think this is definitely something that we can improve on going into this bye week. Um, and just kind of catch our breath a little bit and uh, recover. Armando was huge in the second half. Did it seem like every time you looked into him, he had his guy sealed? Yeah, I mean, Mondo, he's definitely had the advantage going to the second half, and the key emphasis was get the ball on the side. So uh, we made sure that he was going to post hard and we was going to get the ball down to him, and he was able to finish. Cormac's hitting. He's, I think, 10 for 21 last three games. Mm -hmm. What does it do for you guys when he's a little bit more, uh, I would say, consistent from outside? Yeah, Cormac's a great player. He's a great shooter, so he's always going to be able to knock it down, especially in big moments. And uh, these past two games, he's been able to you know, knock it down, kind of spread the floor a little bit. Um, just super happy for him. One thing I love about him is his confidence. It doesn't matter if he's missing shots or making them. He's continued to be that player that we know he is. And uh, that's what we need for him, and he's been doing a good job, so he's going to continue to knock him down. Did you guys uh, circle this one a little bit? Like, okay, enough <laughs> is enough, no time to be us again? I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely this is one of the games that you know, they beat us last year as well. So uh, it's definitely something circling my calendar, just uh, those games that we lost last year, just to get them back this year. And, you know, VTech's a really good team. They run sets really hard. They play defense really well. So, um, you know, the credit to them. But at the same time, we also want to just kind of make a statement again and just get ourselves back in the winning column. How did you defend their guards? I mean, I'm sure you knew coming in that they yeah. could really shoot. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, Padula, Couture, um, you know, they're really good. They're coming off of screens, off ball screens, um, and just, you know, be able to, to knock it down. So just kind of make their catches tough and apply a little bit of pressure. But um, they're really good players, so we're just trying to make it tough for them all night. Did you adjust the perimeter defense? They made seven three-quarters in the first half. They just had a garbage time three in the second mm -hmm. half. Did you guys do something different? Just be more up to touch, um, and the guards just kind of just get into the ball a little bit, off the pick and rolls, but then um, just kind of sniffing out their actions. You know, they ran a lot of actions for Couture, you know, the way his ability to move off the ball. So we had just kind of just connect to the body and be aggressive as they're coming off the ball screen. So um, we did a better job of that in the second half. Oh, you know, you handled the screens better tonight? Yeah, 100%. I think um, a couple of, last couple of games, we didn't do a good job of just our ball screen coverages was poor, poorly done. So. Um, that was one of our emphasis going to this game today, just to be more dynamic on the ball and uh, apply some pressure, and then also helps out being. So we did a good job of doing that. When we were talking to Armando up at Syracuse uh, out in the hallway. He said that uh, been kind of a little bit tired. Yeah. The travel, the, the road games, constant road games, and, and the break coming kind of late in the season. Is this a good time for the break? And do you, can you sense periods where maybe there's a little bit of fatigue kind of affecting you guys on the floor? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think this is a good time for us just to get our legs some rest and bodies recovered. I mean, we've been playing games nonstop and you know, traveling and coming back home and traveling again. So I definitely can see the fatigue playing a role a little bit. So I think this break will be huge for us just to kind of get our energy back a little bit. Um, and you know, we'll be more than fine. We just have to you know recover well and just take care of our bodies. Does that fatigue show up a little bit more in the defensive end? Because it looked like there were periods tonight where you guys were fine offensively, mm -hmm. but the a little slow at times defensively. Yeah. I mean, definitely had like a lot of like reactionary plays and just being kind of just slow like, on the play, on the pass. Um, I think at the time it was like fatigue a little bit and just, you know, the stoppage of plays and whatnot. But um, I'll probably say, you know, fatigue is something that, that comes with because you're playing so many games in a lot of days. So, yeah. Do you know yet what the schedule is going to be this week? No, I just hope you have off tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. RJ, y'all had 54 points in the paint today. It wasn't just Armando. Was there any 